So if you're using MailChimp as your email marketing provider for your Shopify store, you most likely heard about their big update last week, which was that they were removing their MailChimp app from the Shopify app store. So all this really means is, is that you need to find a new way to integrate your data so that customers are being added to your list correctly. So I saw so many people freaking out saying that they needed to get a new email marketing provider, but don't worry, I'm going to show you exactly what to do in about 60 seconds so that you can quickly integrate back in with MailChimp and you don't have to change providers and you don't need to stress, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Elle McCann if you're new here and I've been a Shopify expert for over six years now. If you're already a subscriber to this channel, thank you so much for your support. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I've seen where a lot of people are freaking out with the announcement, thinking that that means that they need to move platforms and not work with MailChimp still. However, that's not the case. If you saw the announcement that MailChimp posted, they offered three different options that you could do. So you could use a free app called ShopSync. You could also use two different paid apps, which are Zapier and Automate.io. So my choice here is the free app because it's free. Also, it works really quickly and it takes about 60 seconds to set up. So I'm about to walk you through going through and setting that up. However, I do want to mention real quick the other two options that they said. So Zapier and Automate.io kind of work the same of where you're paying for those triggers of adding people to your list and to your MailChimp account. So you can set this up and then trigger different behaviors of when someone signs up to your list in your, let's say your email footer, or if they become a customer to add them to certain lists because of that. However, all three options will still let you use your welcome series that you have set up and will still function of adding people to your list. The last two just make it where you have to pay for each interaction. So if you're getting a lot of orders or a lot of signups, you're gonna end up having to pay more. So I like the ShopSync app because as I mentioned, it's free and who doesn't like free, but also it's really easy to set up. So all you need to do to set that up is to go to the back end of your Shopify store under the apps tab in the left-hand menu and then you need to go to the Visit App Store button there. Once you're in the Shopify App Store, you can then just type in Shop Sync and you can actually see it pull up there. So once you go to the individual app page, you can then just hit the Add App button and it'll start adding into your Shopify store. The last step then is to just connect it with your MailChimp account. So you'll sign in with your username and password that you would for your MailChimp account. And then it'll go through and actually connect it and sync. And from there you can choose which list you want to connect it to. So it's super easy and it works really well of syncing all of your Shopify information and any new customer signups over to MailChimp. So don't freak out, you have a very quick solution, and again, it's a free solution that you can go ahead and switch over to. Now, if you're still wanting to use MailChimp, but you're not really sure how to get started, or you don't have it really optimized of automated email campaigns, we do have an online class that'll actually take you through the steps of setting up everything in MailChimp so that you're really maximizing email marketing for your Shopify store. So if you're interested in that, I will put a link in the comments below so you can check that out as well. Thank you so much for watching and we would love to hear from you. Are you using MailChimp for your store now? Have you already set up a new app to sync the two systems? Comment below and let us know. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to this channel. We post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday all about Shopify and how to grow your online store.